bum ba dum bum 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 top story today is national oatmeal muffins day now what is that i hear you ask well basically it's muffins made out of oatmeal now we all know how much you all love oatmeal uh, research done by holly jennifer and tyler showed that we went through 5,000 tubs of oats this summer with this research we're looking forward to seeing what your muffins look like um, we've already had some photos sent in to us right now from Bunk 4. And from Down the Man. We hope you enjoy your muffins. And we hope you send in your photos so we can see exactly what they look like and hopefully see how they taste. We love the muffins. In other, other news, it's time for August's favourite segment. It is our Hawkeye's Future Generation update. <laughs> <laughs> so last week we talked about Mandy's new child, Mika. Or is it Mika? Well, Garrett sent me a hundred messages telling me how to pronounce Mika's name properly. So I think the name we were looking for is Mika. But I'm not sure if I quite believe that's the correct way. So I thought I'd ask some of the Hawkeye community members and to hear what their thoughts are. Let's hear what they think. Mika. Mika. Patrick was so excited that he sent me two messages because he thought he'd learnt a new English word. Mika. Mika. Not really sure what Sean Bonomo is trying to say here. Mika. And this is Talisa's attempt. Seems like Talisa's trying to show us 80 ways of saying the word Mika or Micah. Here we go. Mika. 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 Moving on, we have some celebrations this week. First of all, a huge shout out goes to Sophia Beatrice, who was the lead scorer in her basketball game this week. So well done, Sophia. Our second shout out goes to Piper, who performed her first aerial move in gymnastics this weekend. So we have a video of it right now. Well done team, did really, really well. And now here's for the birthday update. All these celebrations, it must mean one thing only, that the camp countdown clock is finally up on the website. So have a look now. We know parents Love it. The camp countdown clock is really useful too. Sully's been using it since he's left his watch in the programme office last year to plan ahead, making sure those schedules are on time and that there are no mistakes for anyone at camp. So Christmas is approaching and if you haven't got presents yet, whether you want to celebrate Christmas or the end of the year before 2018 strikes, then why don't you check out what Ruth has designed. She's designed this fab item wear for all of the Hawkeye community members can wear and can get someone else that they love. So check it out and let's show our support for Ruth. It's time for the weather. Some say he tells the world's greatest jokes, whereas others sit for hours in a confused state of mind. It's August and it's his dad here with the weather. Two, one. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Hawkeye News, weather. Where are we, August? Uh -oh. We're at the river. What river is it? Uh -huh. This is the Rio Grande River. August and I just hiked down Diablo Canyon here outside of Santa Fe. And what did we find? An arrowhead. We found an arrowhead, a real live arrowhead from a long, long time ago. Maybe we're gonna add it to the Robin's Arrow Trophy, which would be pretty cool. Anyway, we're at the Rio Grande River. It's a little bit cold and it's raining. The weather where you are is, look out the window. Bye. That's it for now. This has been Hawkeye News with updated fashion wear thanks to Coca-Cola and it's appropriate for all seasons. We bring you the news so you don't have to get it yourself.